Top Gun, 1986. Tom Cruise. Summary. The plane carrying warship USS Venture, CBN 65, is on the lookout close to the Persian Gulf when radar contact is made with a MiG warrior. The battle air watch of the undertaking is vectored to meet the approaching airplane, and the contenders included our F-14 Tomcat interceptors, each monitored by a pilot and a radar capture official, RIO. The pilot of the lead plane is Flight Lieutenant Flight Lieutenant Peter Maverick Mitchell, Tom Cruise, a call sign fitting for his haughty rule-twisting demeanor, his Rio is Lieutenant Nicholas Goose Bradshaw, Anthony Edwards. The second F-14 is directed by Bill Cougar Curtell, John Stockwell, with Sam Merlin Wells, Tim Robbins, as the Rio. The two F-14s split up and are shocked when a second MiG, safeguarded from radar by riding inside feet of its chief, shows up. Cougar is outsmarted by MiG-1 while dissident locks his rocket radar on MiG-2, who speedily withdraws. MiG-1 stays on Cougar and is possibly pursued off when dissident flies topsy-turvy, shuts everything down the MiG, and streaks a profane motion to the adversary pilot. The MiG withdraws and the two Tomcats fly to the Endeavor, yet Cougar is so shaken he can't land, driving dissident, coming up short on fuel and against orders, to cut short his own arrival and talk Cougar to the deck. Cougar sees the chief of the Endeavor, Tom Stinger Jordan James Tolkien, and turns in his wings, dash the episode has left Cougar shook and he believes he can't fly battle anymore. Stinger is compelled to change his planned disciplinary activity against Free Thinker, for he should send a Tomcat couple for extra battle preparing at the Naval Forces Warrior Weapons School in Miramar, close to San Diego, California and the commander is obviously sick and that nonconformist is the main qualified possibility for the task. Maverick, in any case, is discreetly thrilled as he views the task as a chance for progression, and upon appearance starts a competition with an individual Tomcat pilot, Lt. Tom Iceman Kazansky, Val Kilmer, and his Rio, Ron Slider Kerner, Rick Rosevich. At a bar the night after their most memorable day at the school, dissident notification Charlotte Blackwood, Kelly McGillis a youthful blonde in pants, and hits on her by following her into the women room and entertaining her. It appears to be not to work until the following day she shows up at the school, uncovering herself to be Charlie, a formerly concealed DoD flight educator that dissident had thought to be male. However in fact a regular citizen, she has dominated the pilot training program where she has beaten a few genuine pilots. She starts to become stricken with Maverick before the authority rivalry starts. In his most memorable activity, Freethinker takes on the school's occupant faux pilot, LTC Richard Buffoon Heatherly. Michael Ironside, and prevails with regards to outsmarting him and shooting him down, however in this manner he flies under a set least commitment elevation, a hard deck, and afterward intensifies this violation of social norms by humming, or overflying, a flight tower at irrationally low height just a flaunt. Both Maverick and Goose tune in while Buffoon and their chief, Administrator Michael Snake Metcalf, Tom Skerritt, are reprimanded by the Pinnacle's boss. Iceman likewise censured Dissident for his perilous disposition, yet Maverick will not have any of it, even after Jokester brings him to his office and takes steps to remove him would it be advisable for him he proceed with along these lines. Metcalf, notwithstanding, knows Maverick since Dissident's dad flew with him in Vietnam off the USS Ariskany, CVA-34, and was killed when he drew in the foe in nonpartisan airspace. The challenge among Maverick and Iceman proceeds, in a later activity Snake and Jokester collaborate against Dissident, an individual F-14 pilot Hollywood. Maverick disrupts a cardinal norm by leaving his partner to pursue Snake, and in this manner Hollywood is killed and afterward a similar destiny comes to pass for Freethinker. In any case, the most horrendously awful is on the way, for Freethinker is cooperated with Iceman, not set in stone to win the school challenge, irately berated Iceman for a really long time to go after a foe make, Dissident makes the effort, However when the two airplanes draw near, the discharge from Iceman's engines cripple Maverick's motors and the F-14 plunges toward the ocean. Goose scarcely prevails with regards to yanking open the crisis launch handles, however when the contender's covering opens up, the two pilots discharge and Goose collides with the shade, killing him. Maverick is crushed by Goose's passing, and however a request gets him free from bad behavior, his certainty is obliterated. He in any case moves on from the class and is reassigned to the venture, where an occurrence with Foamy G's prompts a game-changing fight including Iceman along with Nonconformist. Iceman, and Hollywood are sent off to catch a couple of Mi G's yet are bounced by four extra faux contenders. 
Hollywood is killed and Iceman terribly encompass when Dissident is sent off, presently with Merlin as his Rio. However deferred by failing slings on the flight deck, Maverick actually shows up at the location of fight yet is encircled by foe and when he flies into one boat's jetwash his own warrior momentarily slows down, and however he recaptures control he streaks back to Goose's demise and severs, leaving Iceman, who has long questioned free thinker's fortitude after Goose's passing, caught as Merlin frantically and angrily shouts at Dissident to get once again into fight. Free thinker get a hold of himself and gets back to help Iceman, and they obliterate four Mijis, inciting the excess unit to withdraw. Thus, Maverick and Iceman at last become companions. As a prize for his gallantry, Dissident is offered any task he picks. He decides to be a teacher at Top Weapon. He throws Goose's canine labels into the sea, connoting he has dealt with his companion's passing.